Welcome to the Awesome DIY website tutorial to show you how to create a logo and a header banner using paint.net. First of all, find out what the sizes of your logo and your header banner are that you need to do in the first place. And this is shown in the black colored templates. Any actual designs here as indicated, 134 pixels by 154, and the static banner or dynamic header, but we're going to create a static one for you, which is 130 pixels by 634. If you wish to find out what the banner sizes are for your uh, design templates, click on the design and when you get to the upload logo section um, and upload banner, it will tell you on the fly what the sizes of these are. Just write those down um, and then go off to your paint.net to create them. So in this case, we're going to go and create the sizes that are indicated here for this template. Open paint.net, go file, and create a new uh, canvas and the width is going to be one uh, one five four and the height is going to be one four pixels right and you click OK now if you want to actually change the color of this uh, and your color palette is not currently open go into window drop down to the colors drop down and click on that and it will now display Click on whatever color it is that you actually want to select and click on the, the bucket tool and dump the color into the respective canvas space. Now what we want to do is go and get our logo. We'll go file open. Go to wherever your logo is located. In this case here it is. And we'll click open. Make sure that you're on this move tool here. Click on it and then go edit copy. Go into the banner space the, that you've actually just created. All of them will display on the top right here. And then go edit, paste. Make sure you keep the canvas the same size. Move it down and then resize it by grabbing the corner. And if you want to make sure it doesn't distort, hold the shift key down at the same time. Right, move it to wherever you want it located. And when you're happy with that, go do control D. Now go and file and save as a JPEG and you're done. My logo. And you hit that and you say save. Okay. Now let us now continue on with creating um, our header banner space. So we'll go File New, and the width of that is going to be uh, 634 centimeters by 134. Click OK. Same thing applies where if you want to change the color background, you click on whatever it is you want. Go to your bucket tool and dump the color into your canvas space. In this instance, we want to go and get some pictures. So let us go to... Uh, get some rocks. These rocks look pretty good to put in there. And we'll click open. Alright. Make sure you've got your little move to there. Go edit. Um, click on the actual picture itself, guys. Sorry. And then go edit, copy. Click on the banner space that you're going to be filling in and go edit, paste. Keep the canvas size the same. Resize it by holding down the corner key and also your shift key so it doesn't distort if you want to. Now let's go and get our picture of um, another lady or something to put in there. And let's go and see if we can find this lady over here. And we'll go OK. Again, make sure that little lady's there. Click on the actual canvas area. Go edit. Copy. Go back to our banner. Go Edit, paste, keep the camera size the same, resize her according to whatever it is that you want, move her to wherever it is that you like, and then when you're really with settling on that, do Control D to deselect. If you want to put some text on there, pick the color of the text that you want to actually have. Make sure it's the size that you want. You've got all your drop down options here, and whatever size, and we'll go. Life Coaching New Zealand. 
when you're happy with it, you go File, Save As, and then go Header Banner. And you can save it as a JPEG and hit Save. And then go OK. And you have now created your header and your logo banner that you can now upload into your awesome DIY websites. And that uh, ends the tutorial. Thank you for joining us.